Hello friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to talk about one more trick where we'll see how to see the content of the parent form which is published on your exchange. So my team member always used to ask me like, okay, parent form won't be visible on any point platform. How to see the content? What exactly is there in the parent form? Always that question comes to me, okay? So I gave them a trick to get the content of the parent form. Let's first talk about why we should use a parent form. Okay, so I'll I'll answer in, in two lines. Okay, so first, this is the centralized location where you can manage all the versions of your connector, dependencies, plugins. Okay, that is one. Second thing is, whatever common dependencies or plugins you have, you can manage it from here by using plugin, plugin management, one option. And another is your dependency management. So now I'll tell you, you can maintain profile also. Third thing is there, profiles also you can maintain it here. Okay. So I'll tell you, so you can, you under plugin management and dependency management, you can keep all the dependencies or plugin used for your all projects. Then all projects, you don't really need this uh, dependencies, right? So whatever dependencies are required by that project, you add this parent form as a parent over there. And then you mention that, okay, what all dependencies you want there? Only those dependencies will be added to your project. Other dependencies won't get added. So dependency management and the plugin management will take care of those two things. Only whatever you ask in that project, those things will be given to you. Now, if you look at here, this is one thing, dependency management, your repositories, plugin repositories, this distribution management is important, okay? If you want to publish this, distribution management is required to publish any asset to your, uh, to your exchange. I am using right now version two because I have some issues with version three. So I'm using V2. I'll, I'll show you the error also when, when we're publishing a version uh, by using version three. This facade uh, Maven API has some issues, okay? So one thing, managing version. Second thing, you can manage the uh, plugins. You can manage the dependencies. Third thing, you can, <clears throat> you can configure your deployment things, okay? So for example, if you go to the plugin, here you can define or configure once. You don't need to define at your application level. So that is the advantage you'll get it. Centralized location. If you want to change anything, you can come here, change it. Uh, publish it again and go to your application, just add this new version to your applications and deploy it, okay? So all the applications will get the latest or whatever matured or stable version you want to use, you can update it here, okay? So all versions you can maintain by defining those properties here, okay? And this parent form will be packaging as a form, okay? You can see here, you can give the assets coordinate here, so this is my group ID, okay? In whichever business group you want to publish, that group ID, you have to get it. How to get this group ID? You can quickly go to your any point uh, platform. So let me just, and go to your any point platform, click this hyperlink and in the URL, you'll find your group ID, okay? So this is a master business group ID. If you want to go to specific group ID, then go from here. Select, let's say training. Okay, if you go here, you'll get that group ID. You get that group ID, come back to your to your uh, uh, form file, update it here. Okay, that's the only thing we need. This is important. And finally, distribution management is important to publish your parent form. So we talked about the advantage of parent form and what all required things we need. One more important thing is, your Maven will be looking for the credentials. Okay, so connect your any point exchange, right? You have to configure setting.xml. So I have configured that. You go ahead and get the connected app credentials and configure setting.xml and then run this command. So let's go to our location of the parent form. Either you can save it as a parent hyphen form, whatever name you want to give, or you can keep it as a form.xml. Anything is fine. If you're other than form.xml, if you give a name, then you need to run the command in a different way. I'll tell you that also, okay? So let's go to the directory where the form file or your parent form is there. Let's go there. 
and you have to run. For example, if I save that file with a different name, what you can say, Maven deploy, and you can say file, okay, equal to parent. You can use this, or if you have saved that file as a pom.xml, you don't need to do anything. Okay, just run this command. It will publish the asset to your exchange. So make sure your setting.xml is configured properly. Okay, and your uh, POM file should have the, the distribution management and your group ID is configured properly. So once you do this, you can go to any point platform, know where you can see your parent POM uh, content. Okay, so if you go to exchange, there is no provision here to look at the parent POM content. Okay, so connector is there, this is, this is there. We are not able to see on any point platform exchange. Okay, now how to get it? Let's go ahead. On your command line itself, <coughs> they have given a clue where this parent form is available. So you can copy this URL. Okay, copy this URL. They have given the API to get the content of that parent form. So you can copy this and you can see that they have given the coordinates. So this is the artifact ID, this is a version, and this is the location. So you can go ahead and get this. So I have copied this. Go to your postman basically and put that URL here as it is. Put that URL as it is here. So I just call just parameterize my organization ID, but otherwise the URL is same. And you need a token. Now, how to get the token? You need to go to your token URL. So I'm getting a token by using the uh, my connected app credentials. So you can pass your connected app credentials and then pass this body you will get the connected app uh, uh, actually authentication or authorization token. Okay. So you get this access token. Go back to the request where you posted your URL. Go to authorization, say bearer token, paste that token over here. And you can get the content of your parent form. What is there? Definitely, I need to know, right? Because somebody published it and that guy left. So you can go ahead. And you can see the content of the parent form, what is there. Okay. And now you can go ahead and add this parent form as your, uh, you know, in a normal application, you can go ahead and say that, okay, parent and add this. So that's the trick how to get the content of uh, the parent form. Let me quickly go ahead and try to show you the error. So if I make it V3 here, I'm facing some issue. Let me save this. Okay. So if I go and run this command, there are some pre-condition validations are failing. So you see here, yeah. so I'm using V2. If you get this error, go back to V2 and run this command, it will work. Now, if I want to do the, uh, you know, if I save that, so I'll go ahead and say file. If I save other than form.xml, okay? So you can say parent, whatever name you want to give, you go ahead and publish it. Okay. And one more important thing is you can publish the same version n number of times. It will work. Okay. But try when you're making changes, try to upload it with a new version. Okay. And make sure it is <clears throat> updated in your application also. Once you once you make the any changes to your parent form, make sure you're updating with a new version. And then that new version is uh, inherited or incorporated in your uh, applications. Uh, form. Okay. Yeah. That's all from this session. Hope you like it. Hope you feel it useful. Um, you know, if you feel, then go ahead, share with your friends. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.